So if you want to know what to sell on Etsy in 2022, this is the video for you. Now this video, I'm not talking about ideas that I've heard of or ideas that I think are working or even just ideas that I've tried, which obviously always brilliant to try something and then share. This video comes out of the horse's mouth, i.e. everything that I'm going to be sharing with you is from the Etsy Trends Report. Now who best to give you ideas than Etsy then sell? So if you are into digital products or selling on Etsy and you want to know what to sell, you definitely want to watch this video till the end to get ideas, ideas, ideas. What I have done is I have looked into the Etsy trend report and I'm essentially pulling out the ideas that they talk about. Now, some of the times they're not sharing these as ideas, but I'm reading between the lines and I'm helping you to suss out what it is that they're not trying to say, but they are really saying under the hood below the line so that you can see uh, what Etsy really is recommending as what is working now why should we take Etsy seriously and their trend report seriously well Etsy is only one of the biggest platforms for digital products and handmade products in general with millions of people on the platform and a really sophisticated algorithm it is important to listen to everything that Etsy says if you are going to be successful on the platform so without further ado let me share for a moment if you are, if this is your first time on this channel, I'm Pamela Bassa, the founder of The Lucrative Lady. And on this channel, I talk all things sales, sales systems, social media, and strategy. And one of the, one of my favorite strategies is of course, digital products and Etsy as a platform, hence this video. So if you like what you see, please go ahead, subscribe, turn on your bell, and of course, share this video. Now, now my OGs who are coming back to the channel, thank you so much for coming back. Let's dive right in. So the market marketplace trends. I'm on my laptop and I'm going to be walking you through what the trend report looks like. So when we look at the market uh, uh, trend report for 2022, which is what we're going to be getting all of our ideas from, and you can already see that Etsy is doing something right in this very first image. They are telling us a lot, uh, actually, like one of the things that really stood out to me are the colors that they have chosen, right? So I'm going to be talking about colors in a moment. And some of the items that are on this image, they are already telling us quite a lot with the funny shaped wooden spoons. They this specific, this, uh, specific uh, green color over here and everything else that you see. So let's go into the uh, market trend report to see what we can take away from this. So the first paragraph of this trend report has a lot of juice in it, a lot of gold in it. And that is in this section right here. And it says many people are looking to establish new routines based on shifting priorities. So this trend report, I really think it has come out of, you know, the fact that we are coming out of a pandemic, hopefully <laughs> out of a pandemic, right? A lot of people are moving away from just doing Zoom calls to actually being in person where we're having parties now. We're meeting people in, in, in person. And so what it's saying is that it's based on shifting priorities. They are seeking the items that bring them calm because we've had a few, uh, the last couple of years have been chaotic. So people are looking for items that bring them calm, purpose and delight. So this is really, really important. So when you're creating a product, one of the questions you ought to be asking yourself is, is it bringing people something that they want, i.e. calm, purpose, and delight? This is what Etsy is saying to us to be asking. So when they asked a trend expert to describe her prediction for the new year, she said 2022 will be about finding balance in all aspects of our lives. So again, that brings us back to the whole calm, uh, the purpose, and delight, pointing to the Swedish philosophy of... and. I'm going to butcher this name, but I believe it's pronounced Lagom, right? It's Lagom, which loosely translates as not too much or not too little. So what they're saying is that the items that are going to be selling this year the most are the things that are not so in your face, but they are calm. They're a little bit subtle. They're helping people with their routines, for example. And it says here, shoppers are expected to strive for something in that sweet spot, something just right. So let's keep moving. Now, if we dive into the second paragraph here, it says help shoppers out with well-crafted or carefully curated items that make meaningful gifts. So what Etsy is saying here is that we ought to be thinking about gift giving, that people are buying a lot more gifts now, right? Meaningful gifts specifically. Why? Because in the last couple of years, due to the pandemic, people have lost loved ones. They've lost jobs. So now a lot of people are really looking for that meaning in life. And they're not just trying to buy gimmicky stuff, but they're trying to create meaningful experiences via meaningful gifts. So again, 
If you're thinking, what can I create? And you are in the gift giving space or you are in a space where it's um, it's a cr- some sort of craft or something, start to put these words in your copy and in your product creation process. So here it says, provide a reason for a pause with a, look at this, personalized planner. So can you see how they are giving us ideas on what is working on Etsy and what people are searching for? So personalized planner. So what I'm going to do as I read through this is I'm going to figure out all of the product ideas that they are sharing in each category. And I'm going to highlight them on the screen so that I can shout it through the rooftops to tell you these are the products that Etsy is telling you to create, telling us to create. Let's go ahead and create them. So let's start with this paragraph um, right here. Let's see how many product ideas we can come up with in this section here. So it says, with a personalized planner, aromatic candle, nostalgic 90s style or soothing a home decor, right? So that's four product ideas there already that they are telling us. It says many shoppers are thinking about updating their basics. So updating their basics, that's a product idea, right? And necessities, being more thoughtful about their purchases and renewing a sense of optimism into their everyday life. I actually think that that's that phrase of renewing a sense of optimism, that's a product idea, right? So this is where people, you know, anything that helps you to feel optimistic, like scents make, make you feel optimistic, candles make you feel optimistic, and uh, uh, anything that brings the calm, uh, even music, um, uh, affirmation cards, planners, all of these things give you hope and make you feel optimistic. So these are all product ideas. So in this one paragraph, I believe we might, might have maybe six product ideas already. So this trend report is really, really big. So I'm going to skip through because I really want to focus in on talking about the categories. Now I'm going to link the trend reports in the description of this video, right? So you can have a look at it for yourself, but I'm going to be breaking it down and dissecting it for you right here, right now. So this is a specific uh, category that I really like, which is the cross category trends over here. Let's see what we can find out. So in the cross category section, there's a few things that Etsy is telling us. Number one, it's telling us people want to find balance, right? What does that mean? It means that shoppers are looking uh, to find more joy in fewer high quality and more meaningful possessions, right? So it's saying, Etsy is telling us, help shoppers to rethink basic everyday items. So what are some basic everyday items? A basic everyday items could, item could be a mug. Can you create mugs in a different shape? Right. Can can you create spoons in a different shape? Just like if we go back to the top here, this image that I was telling you about here, right? There's a reason why they have placed this. Can you see how it's it's a wooden spoon, but it's in a different shape, right? So Etsy is saying, what can you create that's in a different shape or what can you find source that's in a different shape and to sell those? Now, if we go to the section where it says the Etsy color of the year, guys, the Etsy color of the year is emerald green. Whoop, whoop. Coincidentally, I'm actually going to a wedding tomorrow that the theme is emerald green. So that just shows that Etsy really do know what they're talking about, right? So it says emerald green, natural textures, uh, uh, et cetera, right? They, these are the colors of the year for, um, you know, for Etsy. So what does that mean? Does it mean that you have to make all of your products emerald green? No, it just means that you can have maybe that theme, you know, on some of your products. If you have variations, maybe add an emerald green, maybe add it to the palette. Let's move forward. So what I love about this marketing trends is all of these stuff in italics. And here it says 67% of year on year increase in searches on Etsy for emerald green items. This is why we ought to trust Etsy because they have data, they have receipts to prove it. So this just shows that emerald green is big and is going to get even bigger. Let's look at this. Another thing that Etsy talks about that you ought to be really thinking about are pastel colors. Now I'm in the UK, British, so I say pastel. Now in America, they say pastel. I think, I don't know, right? But it's pastel over here. Okay, so pastel colors um, is what it's, it's what it's saying to combine some pastel colors into your color scheme, into the products that you are creating. Why? Because pastel signifies calm, right? Joy, all of that. And this is what Etsy is saying is going to be happening in 2022. So here it says 2,627% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for pastel room color. So if you're in a niche where you um, have color in your stuff, perhaps you are in a home decor uh, space, perhaps you do wallpaper. I have, you know, I have a client who does wallpaper, for example, and perhaps you do wallpaper or whatever it is that you are doing. Think 
pastel, pastel, pastel. People are searching for that stuff, girl. Here's another thing that they talk about, abstract shapes. What does this mean? It says, yes, this just translates form of inspiration from ancient influences like arches and pyramids. Basically, anything that is not your normal circle. So like a mug that's shaped like a triangle, for example, or a spoon that's shaped like a heart or anything, right? Abstract shapes. And if you search on Etsy, you're going to see lots of these things and people are buying this stuff because it looks good. And here it says there are 177% year-on-year -year increases in Etsy for squiggles, right? That's one to definitely ch uh, check. So there's a lot more that it says in this trend report that I highly recommend that you go through, but I really want to move into, uh, now that we've talked about the colors, so we know that there's, the main color is emerald. We also know that there is uh, a big uh, uh, influence of pastel colors. We also know that there's a big move towards abstract shapes and anything that does that takes a different form and that Etsy is looking for products that gives people calm, that helps people to be more joyful, to be more organized, to be able to plan their days better. I'm hoping that this is giving you a lot more product ideas already. Now, I want to move into the various different uh, categories inside of this marketing trend. And in fact, we will uh, split the video for those just to make it easier for people to consume so that if you have a shop in this specific category, or even if you don't have a shop in this category, but you're thinking, I'm open to it. It'll be a good one for you to definitely watch uh, all of this to the end. So let me dive in. So the first category that I want to talk about based on this trend report is the home and living category. So again, from this image already, I can already see so much that Etsy is, is saying, right? Like you can see a lot of wooden tones, a lot of brown tones. You can see a lot, some, you know, some really bright colors and you can see some of the pastel colors uh, down here. Another thing that I can see from this image that they have put together is these weird shapes, right? You see? So this is, you know, uh, you know, that could be a chopping board, but it's decorative, right? It's not your standard rectangular chopping board. Even these nests of tables, you have, uh, you know, a three set of table. It's a slightly different shape, looking like a mushroom and it looks unique, right? So this just really backs up what Etsy is saying. People are searching for this stuff. So if you are trying to create something in the home and living space, you definitely want to look in this section, but I'm going to break it down for you right now. So over here in the versatility section, it's saying that shoppers need items with flexibility to suit many living and working arrangements. Why? Because a lot of people are still working from home. Some people are working from away from home and some people have a hybrid uh, going on. So it says there have been 14% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for convertible nesting or modular tables. So people are not just looking for a standard table if you are in this home or living uh, space on Etsy. They're not looking for a standard table. They're looking for something that's nesting. So that means that it can stack right? Nest going to one another or it's modular or it's convertible, which means that the table can become something else. Perhaps it's a table that becomes a storage or something. I don't know. But these, again, Etsy is giving us some ideas, some product ideas here. What it's saying is that novel shapes are really in right now. So think, if you're going to be sourcing products, think abstract shapes and squiggles, because according to Etsy, they bring pay playfulness into a functional home decor, because we all want joy, right? So it brings playful, uh, playfulness here. 77% year-on-year increase in searches on Etsy for abstract shaped rugs. Imagine that, abstract shaped rugs. So people are not looking for rugs that are, you know, your box standard rectangular. They're looking for something a little bit different. Neutral textures, marble moment. So it's saying here that there are 263% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for marble candle holders. So if you're in the candle space, for example, or you're thinking of doing something, perhaps a good place to start is this marble candle holders, not just any candle holders, but marble, because you know that there is a 267, 263% year on year increase in searches for this specific thing. Again, still in the same category, if you look at home decor, they have, um, they are recommending custom wooden cutting boards, right? We have some in my home. It's something that it just looks nice. It's decorative and it looks different, right? Family portrait illustrations, a one of a kind welcome mats are, are poised to make a splash yet again in 2022 this year as shoppers look to make their homes feel more unique to them. Again, we're coming out of a pandemic. People are looking for something unique, something different, something that makes their home feel new, especially if they haven't been able to upsize or downsize or move or whatever, right? That's what it is. So here it says, wall decor was a top search among the male shoppers. 
You see that? How interesting is that? That amongst male shoppers in 2021, this was a top search. So what that tells me is that if you have any wall decor, right, you would be targeting men. You might have, uh, uh, I don't know, you, you'd just be targeting men. You might have some colors that men resonate with, words that they resonate with, images that they resonate with, etc. because you know that they are the ones who are shop shopping for this stuff most. Here's another one that really stood out to me. It's called Denmark Pastel. This is something, definitely something to, for you to research, for you to Google and just uh, check it out because it's saying there is a 28,705% 28, year on year increase in searches on Etsy for Denmark Pastel. So not just any past, pastel, but specifically Denmark Pastel. Now, if I was in the home decor space, I would be all over this shiz, like seriously Googling this and figuring out how to bring this into my shop. Another thing that's working in this home decor space is statement lighting. It says it has to be functional and fashionable, uh, fashionable, fashionable. So functional and fashionable. And I know what Etsy is talking about because we've just listed recently, I don't know if you can see this, for example, um, but all over the house, we've just recently um, done up um, our house. We did an extension. And again, I remember specifically saying to my husband and my words were, I want it to be unique, babe. I want it to be a little bit different, you know, but what I was really saying is that I want it to be functional and fashionable. That's really what I was saying. So here it says there is 20% year on year increase in searches for sculptural or decorative lighting. And there is a 368% year on year increase in searches for 70s lighting. You see that? So if you are in the home decor or living space, this should have given you a ton of ideas that you could use for your shop on Etsy. So if you are in the clothing category or you are thinking about getting into the clothing category, you're going to love this portion of the video because it is all about clothing and what the trends are for 2022 on Etsy. So as you know, I like to start with the image to see what Etsy is showing me already. And over here, I can see quite a bit. I can see that, you know, what Etsy is trying to say is that people are sort of dressing down a bit and being a bit more relaxed with their clothing and stuff. And I've, I've noticed that even in my own wardrobe because prior to the pandemic, I was was, you know, I really liked, you know, really nice things that cost really nice money, you know, but I realized that the majority of my wardrobe, when I bought these things that were, you know, pretty pricey, I haven't had the opportunity to wear them. So I'm back to just wearing things that are basic, that are simple, that are a little bit cute and unique, but they don't cost an arm and a leg. And so that's what I can see from looking at this picture over here that Etsy has um, shown us, you know, really simple everyday items, but with a unique twist. So let's see a little bit further. So what Etsy is saying in this first paragraph is that following the not too little or not too much Lagom approach, right? Remember that was a phrase that they have been using. Um, pared down separates with inventive details have the flexibility to dress shoppers wherever they are and whatever the occasion. So pared down separates is what they are looking for in the clothing niche. So the first thing they want, they're asking or recommending is to update the basics. So how do you do that? You add some unexpected details to the traditional white button up with sheer material, wrap elements or delicate embroidery. So they're saying you have these uh, basics that we might wear, like maybe a white shirt or a blouse or something. Add some embroidery, add a wrap element to that, add a Add some sheer material or something small that makes it a little bit unique. It kind of reminds me, I don't know about you, but when I was uh, much younger, I used to customize clothes. This is the kind of stuff when I read this, I'm just like, hey, I used to do this when I was 16. Just customize clothing. You'll cut something up, pair it with something else, stitch it back together, add some embroidery and boom, you have a brand new pair of jeans, a brand new pair of uh, shorts that you have just customized. And I really think that that's what Etsy is saying here. Now, for those in business or, or, other, or rather, if you have an Etsy shop or you're trying to create an Etsy shop in the clothing space, what it's saying over here in the business space, if you want to cater to those in business, I like this a final, this uh, a bit of the paragraph here. It says, consider ways to bring some playfulness into work attire by incorporating color blocks and oversize the blazers and refine the loungewear. Again, we're coming out of working for ourselves from home uh, and at home to working, you know, in offices where <laughs> you meet real humans instead of just your, your pet. So it's just giving ideas and it says 75% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for blazer dresses. How interesting. So basically a blazer dress, a long uh, type of uh, uh, blazer.
Now, again, for my audience who have a shop in the clothing space on Etsy, I love this paragraph over here. It says, or this sentence, it says, add items in your inventory that have some sparkle or incorporate kaleidoscope print uh, trends. So add some sparkle. So people are searching for sparkle. People are looking for things that are a little bit colorful, uh, uh, that really uh, stands out, etc. That's what they are looking for. Another thing that it's saying over here, again, for this clothing space is be 90s inspired. 90s was like how long ago? Over 10 years ago, like be 90s inspired, really Etsy, but okay. You know the, you know it best. It says from the happy go lucky bubblegum pop era to more moody grunge punk vibes, this decade continues to inspire buyers. And it's true, right? The 90s vibe is still very much there, even in music, but in clothing, it's very much there. It says think neon separates, velvet dresses, oversized blazers, uh, plaid patterns, um, slouchy sweatshirts, a little bit like what I'm wearing now. Etsy, you are on trend. A little bit like what I'm wearing right now, slouchy sweatshirts, bucket hats. I don't know about bucket hats. You and I might stop being friends if you bring back bucket hats. But hey, people are buying this stuff according to Etsy. Sleeveless sweaters, baby doll dresses. I have a few of those. Keep eye catching, keep catching the eyes of Etsy shoppers too. How interesting. So again, if you're looking at if you're in this clothing space and you're looking at what kind of inventory, what kind of things can I um, sell on Etsy in the clothing space? This is the goods and Etsy is telling you. So over here it says that there's a 66% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for vintage items. So that's a really good one to know. Here's another one that stood out to me again in this clothing space. It says pastel goth. So that's bringing together two different categories, pastel and goth. It says TikTokers and other young people Etsy, are you getting old? <laughs> TikTokers and other young people are playing with contrast this year, pairing the softness of pastel cut accents with the darker undertones of goth and punk styles. I think what Etsy is trying to do, I think it's trying to really bring in uh, young people onto the platform, uh, so to speak. It says 34% of year and year increase in searches on Etsy for pastel goth clothing. So again, if you are in this space, then you are laughing because I have just given you a lot of ideas for what you can put in your Etsy store in the clothing space. So I'm going to dive into the next category now, which is jewelry and accessories. Okay, so as always, I begin by looking at the collage that Etsy has put together in this trend report. And again, I can see a lot of things. I can see pastel colors. I can see uh, unusual shapes. I kind of like this, unusual shapes of jewelry, right? I can see quite a, you know, quite a lot. They're bringing back things. Remember these butterfly clips that, you know, little girls wear? Apparently they're still in. So are these chokers that we used to wear back in school, back in the 90s? Again, so the 90s trend are really coming back in. So let's have a look at what Etsy says about this space. So if you are in the jewelry or accessories uh, category of Etsy, or you want to be, you're going to want to pay attention to this. Let's get some ideas. So the first paragraph, there's a few things that I can garner from this. And it says that buyers are largely experimenting with opposing styles like harsh, edgy punk versus soft pastels and naturally textured tones versus perfectly rounded edges. So people are experimenting with their jewelry right now. So the first thing it says is 90s punk. Nostalgia for edgy punk era silver accents and also 90s details like velvet and metal studs is expected to drive shoppers. Again, you're looking for inventory, think metal studs, think velvet, think 90s punk. This is what Etsy is saying. 2022, this year is going to be big. It's saying there's a 365% year-on-year increase in searches on Etsy for velvet chokers. Can you imagine? That's 1% for every day of the year, 365. Velvet chokers, those simple things that I used to wear back in school in the 90s. It's made a big comeback and it is big on Etsy. Now, when it comes to the shape of jewelry that people are searching for, Etsy is recommending that you think about squiggles and abstract shaped earrings. And I know this to be true because whilst I'm still wearing traditional shaped earrings, I'm actually more attracted. Like when I see somebody in earrings, I'm attracted to it if it's a different shape. So this is very, very true. So think abstract shaped earrings or necklaces or other accessories in your next collection. So don't just go for the traditional style. Go for abstract is what it's trying to say. 
In terms of textures for jewelry that people are searching for, Etsy is saying think about tactile elements like raw crystals or hammered stonework, right? A lot of people are looking for edgy stuff, something that's raw, something that's a little bit more natural in its substance. It says 150% year on year increase on searches on Etsy for moss agate. I'm not quite sure if I've said that correctly, but that's my version of it. So there you go. And here it says statement jewelry. So for statement jewelry, it's saying that people are buying things that are that make a statement that are that are a little bit loud. So think oversized chains, um, etc. Um, think a chunky jewelry. These are statement pieces that stand out. So people are really going all out on their jewelry, and the size does matter. Here it says man ring was a top search among male shoppers in early 2021. So can you imagine if you had that as a tag in one of your in uh, on one of your products on Etsy? Here it's talking about brooches which um uh is staying in vogue and apparently there is a 62% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for butterfly brooches. I don't know why it's spelled this way brooches I, I didn't realize there were two o's. So they called a brooch. A brooch. I don't know if I've said it correctly, but anyway, that thing that your grandma used to put on her um, <laughs> on her chest here, yep, it's it's back in trend, and people want it, and they want it a lot. So if you are in the jewelry space um, at all, then there are a ton of ideas for you when it comes to jewelry and accessories. So get thinking; there are a ton of ideas that really help you to stand out. So I want to move on to the next category now, and that is craft supplies and tools. Again, let's begin by looking at the image here. What are they saying? Now, the first thing that has really jumped out at me is the colors. Now, I mentioned earlier that the main color, the color of the year for Etsy is emerald, hence why it has been featured here. I've also noticed that there's a lot of handmade yarn type of stuff happening, and I know because I love this kind of stuff and people are buying it. So if you're really good with, uh, 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 what is it called, wool and needle or yarns and anything of that nature, these are the kind of stuff that you should be creating. So let's dive into the trend report for the craft supplies and tools. So the first thing that I've noticed in the first paragraph, the one that, I mean, there's a lot in it, but this is what stood out to me. It says parents continue turning to crafts to draw children away from screens and to keep them occupied. What does that tell me? It tells me toys, handmade toys, handmade anything that really gets a child's attention, keeping them, keeping them away from screen. Parents are buying that and I'm all for it. Another thing that's really exploding on Etsy are, is tufting. So it says here, exploding on TikTok, the art of tuft tufting textiles, what a tongue twister, tufting textiles is inspiring crafters to tackle a wide range of projects using tufting guns from fabric on small looms and cushions to larger household items like rugs. Again, so if you are, um, if this is a skill of yours, then uh, people are looking for that kind of stuff. Let's look at the knitting and crochet tutorials. Cooler weather in many places means knitters and crocheters are eagerly picking up their needles again, such as for patterns, Yarn and other supplies are on the rise. So when it comes to digital products, for example, patterns are really, really good. And in fact, it says here that 96% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for cardigan knitting pattern. How amazing is that? So if I wanted to get into this craft space, right, I might actually just start with a cardigan knitting uh, yarn pattern in my shop. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I'm going to sell anything that Etsy recommends, really. I really love this paragraph, again, still in the same session. It says connecting over DIYs. Now, since the pandemic, people are looking to make new memories together. And here it says, we anticipate demand for DIY kits to increase. Consider offering sets of activities intended for group crafting. How amazing is that? Imagine people are throwing parties and getting their friends and family together and they are crafting together, right? But so if you had a kit that allowed for, you know, a, a larger group of people, say five or 10 or so or eight, whatever, to be able to craft together, then people are buying that stuff. And that's not where it ends. Over here in craftivism, it's really talking about parents now bringing down the craft or the skill, the desire for crafting in their children. But get this. It says it's for a cause. So parents are encouraging youngsters to take up a cause with DIY projects that celebrate social justice, allyship, and environmental awareness in kid-friendly ways. So your kids could be um, related with specific things such as Black Lives Matter or specific uh, causes, uh, uh, you know, to do with injustice or allyship or anything like that. These things are selling really, really well. 
DIY kids room decor. Shoppers are looking for ways to help their kids personalize their space with art supplies like wall stencils. So personalization, DIY room decor, all of that is selling really, really well. Foraging is doing really well on Etsy, guys. So again, if you are in this space, crafts and supplies, foraging is a micro niche within this space. And it's saying offer craft projects that, uh, uh, projects that make use of materials found in nature and that are intended to be completed outside right outside we were locked down now we want to be <laughs> locked out we want to be out right so parents want to let their children out but give their children something different to do besides just shooting a nerf gun or playing in the water although there's nothing wrong with that specifically but there's other things that they can do foraging diy crafts with natural materials if you had kits containing educational angles um these would win you bonus points it says i really like this it's given me a ton of ideas you know for other etsy shops that i might want to open this year over here it says make sure that it's fit for a beginner so don't assume that your buyers are going to be people who already know what it is that you are doing or that you are offering if you're going to offer a kit it says consider adding beginner and easy level kits to your offering because it could be children who are using this stuff or people who have no interest or pardon me people who have no experience but only have an interest so make sure you're thinking about that now let's look at textures and dimensions so it's saying consider ways to make your patterns so if you have patterns or projects more three dimensional with beads tufted yarns or hammered stones people want to hold stuff don't make it flat make it three dimensional just it just gives it a higher perceived value is what it's saying here and I love this last one, which is kitchen upgrades. Absolutely. I'm one who has definitely shopped in this category. It says the new year could inspire DIYers and cooks to enhance the look of their cooking spaces with tack, with tile decals, knobs and handle swaps and storage hats. That's me all day long. And if I'm telling you it's me, it means people are buying it because I am, right? So uh, again, these are some things that you can put into your store if this is your category. Now, I want to move on to talking about paper and party supplies. So paper and party supplies category. This is a really fun category for me um, as well. Again, we start by looking at this already. I can see a lot of pastel colors. I can see that emerald green is coming through here. I like how they have used it. Emerald green is the uh, Etsy color of the year, right? I can see how they have put things together. I'm liking this. It's given me a lot of um, ideas. So let's read and get some more ideas from the trend. So what I love about this category is that Instantly, it's giving me ideas. So goal setting, boom, that's a product idea. It's saying shoppers tend to fresh calendars, planners, and journals to start the new year on an optimistic, organized note. And not just the new year, but throughout the year. Offer creative solutions for tackling the day and routine. So anything that helps people tackle routine, that's a product, guys. From downloadable, downloadable meal planning templates to display-worthy to-do lists. Look how simple it is. I mean... I'm just going to pull this through. This is my menu uh, plan that I have just sitting on the wall in my kitchen. I follow a menu. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am that sad. Um, we follow a menu in this house. This is how we eat well. Um, but yes, this is how I stay sane. But, but yes, I could package this and sell this as a digital product is what? Let me put it back. That was louder than I planned. Um, I could package and sell that template um, is what Etsy is really trying to say. Downloadable meal planning templates. You see that? Uh, what I love about digital products specifically is that a lot of the stuff that you can sell really well are already in your home. That's what I really love about it. So here it goes. Occasion gifting. Again, idea. Paper and party supplies is a top category for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, as demand for decor, wrapping paper, gift bags, flourishes. Also consider offering digital items, buyers can purchase and download in a last minute pinch. Oh, I just love Etsy and I love this category. Occasion and greeting cards, that's another category under the um, paper and party supplies. With many people still spending Christmas and milestone moments apart, we're still seeing increased demand for thoughtful cards to bridge the distance. Also consider needs for everyday greetings and try offering personalized option. I second this actually. Personalized option, really, really good. People are looking for cards that look like them right? Cards with, with faces that look like them, right? Um, people are looking for cards in other languages, greetings that are a little bit different than just happy birthday. They want greetings that really um, signify what it is that they want to say from their heart. It says there's a 21,166% 
year on year increase in searches on Etsy for teacher greeting card. Who knew? That would make a really good shop on Etsy. Birthday card was a top search among male shoppers in early 2021. How interesting. Textured Perfection introduced natural edges to add tactile intrigue to your items or use upcycled materials for raw and unfinished feel. Some ideas there for you. Retro Influences say 70s inspired colour palettes, nostalgic fonts and quirky patterns are expected to attract shoppers this year 2022. Again, another thing that's attracting shoppers, it's tropical prints, which as we go into spring and summer, I'm all for it. Tropical prints and geometric patterns, mystical creatures, children's trends, enter a magical realm with fan, uh, fantastical creatures like dragons and fairies. Look to these themes to become big for kids' birthday party supplies. You see that? Massive 24% year-on-year -year increase in searches on Etsy for dragon toys. So if you are thinking about getting into the paper and party supplies space, there is so much here for you just from reading the Etsy trends alone. There's so much you can do. So I want to jump into wedding because every season is wedding season. We all know that, right? So wedding over here. Again, I like to look at the picture. I like what I see. So there's a lot of color. There's this emerald. I'm actually going to a wedding tomorrow and the color theme is emerald. So this is a big thing, right? There's a lot going on here. So let's look at some product ideas that we can create if you were to create a store in the wedding space. So the first thing in the first paragraph of this trend is talking about unconventional wedding choices. People are making some unconventional wedding choices. I didn't know this, by the way, but apparently there's a 19% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for black wedding dresses. How interesting. People are going for bold color accents um, for their entire wedding party and decor. So this is really good. People are looking for a sunnier day, you know, brighter weddings, uh, which is pretty cool. Cheerful details. It's saying here that couples uh, are looking to make splashy statements on everything from invitations to centerpieces and even wedding dresses and suits. So people are looking to really uh, make a statement. So that means they're going for bold colors. They're going for different shapes. They're going for something a little bit unique. They're really trying to make their wedding stand out. And in fact, there's a 311% year on year increase in searches for colorful wedding items. So if you're in the wedding space or you want to be in the wedding space, this is a search term that you definitely want to pay attention to. Now, when it comes to dresses, it says versatile pared, pared down dresses, soft draping and repurposable jersey fabric separates are suited for simple budget conscious or low key events. And I'm all for it. You know, when people buy these big wedding dresses or spend so much money on wedding attire in general, you can't really wear them a second time. So people are looking for something that they can repurpose, right? Something they can use again. So think that if you are in this space or you want to get into this space, think how can somebody use this item again? Because they would more than likely want to buy it if you can show them through the images or through the video how it can be repurposed and used as something else. Now, when it comes to place settings and, and tables, etc., it says place settings have become the stars of many celebrations. It has always been the stars, actually. Tap into trendy cottage core aesthetics and organic tex textures with dreamy, calming tabletop details like dainty place settings and dried floral arrangements. I can already picture that. That looks amazing. This is the kind of stuff that people are buying this year. Again, personalized keepsakes. This has always been on trend. I remember when I got married a good 11 years ago, right? I wanted personalized keepsakes. Now, it's even bigger now than it was before. There's a 372% year-on-year increase in searches for on Etsy for personalized wedding dress hanger. How interesting is that? Retro influences, bigger events are featuring throwback elements like bold stripes, disco balls, vintage-inspired posters and invites. Promote a fun photo opportunity by offering splashy items for dramatic backdrops. How amazing is that? If you think about it, when people are at a wedding or when you get married, you want great pictures. So people are looking for bold statements for their backdrop. So think about that when stocking up your Etsy shop. Now, finally, over here in Nostalgic Romance, it says looks inspired by old Regency styles are finding a new resurgence for their soft and inviting vibe. Incorporate this with 
pastel decor and touches of nature for a lush ethereal effect. Now that's a lot of English, <laughs> but over here it says 142% year on year increase in searches on Etsy for square neck wedding dress. I like how clear and simple that is. So again, if you're in the wedding space, I hope you've got a ton of ideas on how to really make your shop shine and pop and go to the top of the news feed of the algorithm of the Etsy algorithm rather, um, so that people can find you right? Really, really important. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some value from that. Even if you didn't think that this was a category for you, share the video because you might be helping somebody else who, um, you know, is looking for ideas in this specific uh, category. You'll be doing the world a wealth of good. And of course, myself, if you are just getting started selling digital products or selling on Etsy, then you're going to want to grab my digital product starter kit. This is a really important document that gives you everything you need to know in it. I share my top 100 uh, products to sell on Etsy. I also share the different formats that your products need to be so that you're able to upload them very, very easily and generate sales really fast. And lastly, I also share with you 14 different ways to sell your products. You do not want to miss it. And it is absolutely free. So there is no cost. You want to look for it in the description of this video. Make sure you get access to that and get started with my digital product starter kit. It's really good to have had you and make sure you check out this playlist where I share um, a, a lot of other things that I'm learning about, you know, uh, digital products. We've made multiple six figures from digital products and, you know, running uh, a shop on Etsy, etc. So make sure that you check out this playlist and I'll see you in my next video.